Goodbye. Hey, Dad! Hazel fell down and hurt her leg. Oh, no. She tripped on the brick. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. I, oh, I Hazel, think she sprained her ankle. Oh, Hazel. She tripped on a loose brick. Oh, here, Hazel, I'll get you a chair. Here, sit down. Here, sit down. Huh. Are you going to be all right, Hazel? Oh, you ain't worried about me, are you, sport? You know me. I'm tough as nails. <laughs> Now, you better go out and get your football before somebody walks away with it. Okay, Hazel. And then why don't you go over to Tommy's and show him what I taught you about catching a pass. Okay, Hazel. Well, I'm certainly glad you're not badly hurt. What do you mean, not badly hurt? I could have killed myself. I feel terrible about this, Hazel. Well, good. That's something. Aren't you going to call the doctor, Missy? Oh, yes, Hazel, right away. You know how to make a fireman's chair? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. She fell down like a ton of brick. You and Bonnie carry me into my room. <laughs> I just feel terrible about this. Oh, I'll probably have to eat my meals in bed for a few days. Oh, certainly. And just let me know if there's anything at all we can do for you. Well, for one thing, you can get moving. You two have the boniest wrists I ever sat on. <laughs> <laughs> Is your ankle still hurting you, Hazel? Oh, no. The doctor shot it so full of Novocaine, my lips is numb. <laughs> oh, it was a terrible thing. You could have broken your neck. Oh, no. I keep myself in such terrific physical condition. <laughs> Listen, Hazel, anything can happen. Why, things can strike you down right out of the blue. Yeah, I suppose you're right. But of course I'm right. All you have to do is just look in the newspaper. And the home accidents are the very worst kind. I worked for some people once, and a man slipped on a hall rug, and he was laid up for six months. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> well, of course, he sued him for plenty, though, and he won. <laughs> so, as you might say, every cloud has its silver lining. <laughs> I don't know. You'd think she was some kind of a celebrity or something. How did all these people know about this accident, anyway? Well, Barney told them after he finished delivering the mail. Oh, no. Here, George. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm running out of vases. Well, there you are, Hazel. More of them. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Who are they from? Oh, they're from the gang at the bowling alley. Ain't that nice? They say they're going to drop by and see me. Did you fix that brick yet, Mr. B? Yes, Hazel. I fixed it even before the doctor got here. <laughs> because if somebody tripped over it, they could sue you for plenty. <laughs> I really can't stay any longer, Hazel. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, yes, there is one thing. I'd like you to get in touch with my nephew, Leroy. Fine. Don't be silly, George. Hazel would never even consider suing you. I don't know about that. I turned her down on a raise. She may see this as another way of getting money out of me. Talk as if she were an outsider. Hazel's as much a part of this family as, as I am. I don't even want to discuss it. I'm going to be running along, Mrs. Baxter. I have to go on an errand for Hazel. Oh, all right, Rosie. Is it anything I can do? Oh, no, no. Uh, she's just particularly anxious to see her nephew, Leroy. So I'm going to get in touch with him. Why is she so anxious to see him? He's a lawyer. <laughs> oh, the ingratitude of that woman. <laughs> After all we've done for her, now she's going to try to take me for everything I've got. I don't believe it, not for a minute. Dorothy, you just don't send for a lawyer, a lawyer, a cheap ambulance chaser, unless you're going to sue somebody. There he is now. George, you let me answer it. You're much too angry. No, no, Dorothy. I have a few words I have to say to him. <laughs> Mr. Baxter? Yes, sir? I'm Leroy Burke. Yes, I Mr. Am. Burke, step in. We've been expecting you. <laughs> If you hadn't coat. I just want you to understand that I know why you're here. Just for your information, I too am a lawyer and I'm perfectly willing to fight any case, even as high as the Supreme Court. Well, that's, uh, that's fine, but... Uh, just I, uh... keep that in mind, Mr. Burke. Just keep it in mind. Wow! Three of them! <laughs> oh, now, how did I ever let you get away with that? You're just too good for me, that's all. Hi, Oh, Leroy, it's good to see you. I'll just leave you with your client. Yes, if you will, please, Mr. B. Because Leroy and me have some business to talk over. You 